both of them are new and be sure and keep the old one separated because i'll go plug that in i want to cut the rest of that off. yeah i'm going to cut it off i just making it easier to handle right now. <laughs> Tell you a little something about this i've had a rattle that has had me very concerned and uh i looked in my toolbox i crawled up underneath here uh, i checked to make sure my spare tire wasn't uh rattling underneath there i checked all the muffler hangers all the muffler shrouds and uh rattle 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 guess what i found it by accident I mean it. Well, when it's loose, that's what I've been hearing. It's not no, it's the antenna. And how'd you figure that out? I was washing the truck and I hit it with my hand and I heard that rattle that I've been hearing. So, problem solved. <laughs> Beverly says, and I never heard that rattle. And then all of a sudden, every time we went down, you know, a bumpy road or anything, we got the rattle. So. Okay. Now, uh, I'm trying to save my truck. And I've not had a carport for that truck for about five years now. And You're looky not here. I'm not videoing your butt, hon. You always video when I start doing stuff and I'm bending over. That's when you start. So. We're using this carport. I can't afford to buy one. And uh, I have three other ways to get in this trailer. So this is my new carport. And uh, there was a handicap ramp here. We just disassembled the handicap ramp. Now we're taking apart the stairs and we're just gonna move the stairs down there till we figure out what to do with them. So now I got a place to put my truck out of the weather and out of the sun. Right. I have cut these stairs out of this. Now there's enough room to get in here and I got enough steps to get up in there. Now I'm gonna take this to the dump. Yeah, that ramp was a monstrosity. Well, yeah, it was a Frankenstein for sure. Yeah. It was huge and it was pieced okay. together. The carpet was older than I was. All right, I'm just gonna drag this out over here and whenever we get the trailer and go with the dump, I'll throw it in there. Okay, where are we going to put it? I don't know, but not where I got to look at it for the next month because you don't feel like it. Okay. It's in here. And uh, I have decided something else. I'm going to take that toolbox off. Uh, about 75% of the reason I had that toolbox on there was before I moved here, uh, I used to come over here and fix stuff for Bev all the time. And other people, you know, I uh, I would put faucets in and small stuff, you know, uh, before I started making knives. And uh, I always carried my Chevy toe and chains and to come along to pull stuck Chevys out of, you know, uphill where they can't make it uphill, stuff like that. Yeah, that was all I'm going to cut. So, anyway. I'm going to take my toolbox off because uh, all my tools are in my John Deere, which is over in the garage. So whenever I need tools up at Bev's house or up at my house, I just take my John Deere up there. So uh, I'm taking that toolbox off. And that's, boy, that's going to free up some weight because you wouldn't believe the tools I got in there. Okay. And uh, one other thing I'm going to do. The, the, the front, oh, two other things. The front Ford emblem 
is uh, just totally washed out, peeling, faded, bubbling. So I ordered a new Ford emblem. And uh, this bumper, this is a two-piece bumper. There's a half here, a half there. And I bent this. It was me. I did it. I backed into a tree at a yard sale. And then I, <laughs> I thought I could bang it back into place. So I hit it with this big, huge, heavy mallet and uh, put another dent in the bumper. So all these years, that's really, you know, right there above the... Uh, tailgate handle I have a dent and that's from me lowering my tailgate down I had my trailer and uh, you know the little jack that you turn around and and it lowers the leg on the trailer well I let my tailgate drop on the top of that thing and put that little dent there on the other side on the bed there's a little dent of where uh, I was picking a wheelchair up and oh my god that wheelchair was heavier than it looked and uh, anyway, I ended up banging it into the side of the truck pretty hard. And then, uh, you know, I've got a little ding in the door down here. That wasn't me. It could have been something I ran over, or, uh, you know. That's about it. So uh, for a 10-year-old truck, uh, it is still in pretty good shape. And maintenance-wise, I've always been a stickler for maintenance. This thing is, you know, it's it's been uh, bought it brand new. And I change the oil regularly, filters. I just put an air filter in it yesterday. Um, anyway, I, I have uh, my rear end differential, rear diff fluid is new. Transmission fluid is new. The uh, plugs are new. The serpentine belt is new. Uh, I clean my uh, O2, my uh, mass airflow sensor all the time. Or not all the time, but when it needs it. And, uh, you know, I keep my tires aired up. These are fairly new tires. So uh, it's probably more than you wanted to know about my truck. But I'm going to have this till I'm dead. I'm going to try to make it last that long. And uh, I plan on living to 105. So this is going to be an antique when I die. Anyway, tomorrow I'm taking that toolbox off. And uh, I'm going to start waxing this. I wish I had showed you what the roof looked like after years of parking it underneath oak trees. It took a whole lot of scrubbing to get that oak sap mildew off of it. And uh, now I gotta put some wax on it to protect it. And now that I got a carport to bark under. So that's the end of the uh, carport saga. I don't know if you remember how far out that uh, ramp came, but it came I couldn't get my truck past it and uh the ramp went way down there to the end of the carport so I'm glad I did this now I got a lot more room under here and I've got electricity so I can use a vacuum cleaner and uh I've got water right right here down here is water where I can wash it if I wanted to wash it up underneath here okay I'm done for the day that's all I got in me tomorrow toolbox is coming off and I'm going to take this truck in very small sections and wax it. I'm going to do the roof first and if I got any energy after that I'd probably do the tailgate or maybe the hood. I'm just going to do it in small sections because I don't have my strength back yet.